We spend millions on security. We buy the latest endpoint detection. We hire the best pen testers and we follow every compliance rule in the book. But what happens when the enemy isn't just a sneaky developer, but a piece of code that literally rewrites itself every time it runs? Are we still relying on technology that looks for fixed signatures when the signature vanishes the moment it appears? How do you catch a digital phantom? Because that's exactly what AI driven malware has become. And it's time we stop pretending our old defenses will ever catch it. The AI hype is real, but the danger is even more so. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer, and we're passionate about helping companies protect their organizations. With 10 years of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and penetration test requirements. In my 25 years building software, I've seen technology evolve from floppy disks to the cloud, and every time a new power source emerges, the bad guys are the first to harness it. We're facing what I call the ultimate digital chameleon. And today, I'm breaking down the three fundamental shifts you need to understand right now. First, let's talk about polymorphism at scale. Traditional polymorphic malware use simple encryption routines to change its appearance, but modern threats utilize powerful large language models to generate code dynamically. This means the underlying malicious function stays the same, say, a keylogger, but the actual lines of code, the variable names, and the structure are unique for every single infection. This constant self-remodeling makes the files hash and static strings completely useless for detection. When you can generate a functionally identical yet structurally distinct malicious file with with a simple prompt, the volume of threats skyrockets, overwhelming standard security tools. Developers and security teams are now forced to detect intent rather than a predictable structure. Second, these new attacks are running completely in memory, making them nearly impossible to quarantine. Take the Black Mamba uh, proof of concept, for example, which calls out to a high reputation API, like the kind from OpenAI, at runtime to get its instructions and malicious payload. The actual payload never touches the disk, it's executed instantly in the benign process, and then it vanishes. This bypass passes many leading endpoint detection and response solutions that are designed to scan files on the disk. The malware then typically uses a benign communication channel, like a Slack webhook or an existing cloud service, to exfiltrate the stolen data blending seamlessly into normal network traffic. If you're only monitoring command and control communication on known suspicious IP lists, you're missing the entire attack. Hey, speaking of what you're missing, if you're finding this technical breakdown valuable, please let me know. Leaving a comment is my favorite thing, and honestly, the best compliment you can give me. So drop your thoughts down below. Finally, we've entered the age of adversarial machine learning. Security teams have started using their own deep learning models to catch novel threats based on behavior, but attackers are now using AI to defeat that. Attackers craft subtle evasion attacks by manipulating input data, like altering network packet characteristics or file metadata, to specifically trick the security model into classifying the malicious input as benign. This is like a hacker giving your AI-powered security guard a tiny, imperceptible nudge that makes the guard think the hacker is a harmless delivery service. Security Security has become a digital arms race where the effectiveness of a defense is constantly being exploited and broken by a counter AI strategy. So what does this mean for us, the people actually building and protecting the systems? It means the time to focus purely on perimeter security and signature lists is long over. We need to be shifting our focus towards strong behavioral analysis and code hardening. And that means bringing the security mindset deeper into the software development lifecycle. At Startup Hack Security, we specialize in providing in-depth security reviews and penetration testing, the services that are a must have for robust protection in this new era. If you're a fractional CTO or leading a tech team, you can't afford to ignore this. We need to focus on what you can control, which is ensuring your existing code and systems are thoroughly assessed and hardened against these advanced threats. So what's your take on this vulnerability? Think this could be a major issue? I really enjoy engaging discussions, so drop a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Because at Startup Hack, we're passionate about helping companies secure their business. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and pen testing needs. So reach out today and let us help. Check out startuphacksecurity.com.